Hello, my name is Julie King. I'm a member of Group 6. My group's topic is poverty in Eastern Kentucky. I've been to Eastern Kentucky a lot, and I absolutely love it there. The people are so nice, and life is a lot slower and less stressful than the life that I usually lead. It's a different kind of life. There aren't as many modern conveniences there are in other cities, but the people who live there wouldn't trade their lifestyle for the life of someone who lives in a bigger city for anything. Yes, there is a lot of poverty in the mountains, but with that poverty come some of the nicest people you will ever meet, and some of the most beautiful bluegrass music you'll ever hear, and some of the most beautiful scenery you will ever lay eyes on. The people there don't complain to you about their problems, even though they have lots of them. They're used to it, and instead of complaining, they just take it day by day, do what they can about it, and work hard for everything that they have. There's a different set of morals out there, too. A man's word means everything, and people actually take responsibility for their actions. Of course, there are some people who still have little regard for how they treat people in eastern Kentucky, as there is in every city, but they get called out for it, and it usually doesn't go ignored. Family is also a huge part of life out there, because sometimes they're everything that these people have. In hard times, family is all that's left, and they don't take advantage of the privilege of having people who care about you surrounding them. If I ended up living in eastern Kentucky, Appalachia in the future, I would be completely happy. Yeah, I would have less in the way of worldly possessions, but it would be worth it to be surrounded by more genuine people. As for my stakeholder, my stakeholder is families in eastern Kentucky. While individuals and businesses and other social groups are affected by the poverty, families definitely get hit the hardest of all of them. For the most part, the life in the mountains and living with lesser means is, only, is the only life these people have ever known down there. While some of them want to escape, most of them have come to terms with living the same kind of life forever and never trying to escape. For those who do have dreams of leaving, that's almost impossible though. Drugs have penetrated into almost every family in eastern Kentucky, prescription, non-prescription, and alcohol. And most children don't have a very good role model to look up to. I don't think that we need to necessarily try to change the way the people in Appalachia live because some of them don't want to change. I do, however, think that we need to make abundant the resources to them that would allow them to escape if they wanted to and help people who can't help themselves because of disability or addiction. The poverty that the people in eastern Kentucky face is out of their control, and I hope that the information given on our website will help you better understand why it is that way and what you can do to help get these people out of the situation they have been put in. Once again, for Group 6, my name is Julie King.